Hi everyone, this is meteorologist Brian Bennett, and here's your update on Matthew for September 29th. As you can see, the storm isn't quite as symmetric as it was overnight. We have two main areas of convection, one on the northern side of the storm, and another one just west of the Windward Islands, north of Venezuela. And this is to be expected somewhat as it moves through somewhat of a volatile air mass north of South America. It could actually act to confuse the computer models a little bit since we don't have a symmetric storm like we did overnight. Instead, it might have a little bit of trouble honing in on the center of circulation, which uh, could mean some different outcomes for some of the computer models. But as far as we go right now, we're actually getting fairly good agreement among most of the models. Here's a look at the National Hurricane Center track as of 11 a.m on your September 29th. You can see the storm is expected to continue to be a tropical storm for most of the day today, especially with that uh, split double convection and then turning into a hurricane as it turns off to the north, possibly over eastern Cuba. You can see the, the cone of uncertainty here still taking the storm anywhere from central Cuba all the way over to Haiti. So something we'll need to continue to watch there. Here's a look at the spaghetti plots. You can see a fairly good agreement with most of the uh, plots are actually taking the sharp turn to the north, keeping it east of Florida. But again, do expect some change in these model output runs, but fairly consistent as far as uh, what we're looking at right now. Here's a look at the most uh, trusty computer model, the European computer model run. And you can see it has actually shifted the storm quite a bit east, moving over the central Bahamas staying completely east of Florida and then continuing to move off to the north northeast. This is a pretty big shift from where it was yesterday but again I expect this type of shifting back to the east back to the west over the next couple of days until that storm does finally take that turn to the north and that's when we'll get a, a better idea of exactly how the storm will impact Florida and also possibly the mid-Atlantic states. Alright here's a look at the GFS model it's actually a bit farther west, as you can see, moving over eastern Cuba, over the Bahamas, and then sliding east of Florida, and really not having an impact on Florida other than maybe coastal erosion and large surf. Taking the storm farther north, it eventually impacts the Carolinas and Virginia, and then takes a bit of a turn to the northeast and weakens to an extra tropical storm. As far as the rough timing we're looking at, any potential impact on Florida would be right around October 5th or 6th, maybe even into the 7th, depending on the, the exact path that it takes. The mid-Atlantic states would be right around October 6th, 7th, or 8th. So we're looking at a storm for middle to late next week. Still a lot of uncertainty on the exact path it's going to take, but this is what we're looking at today. Fairly optimistic uh, paths today of the storm remaining east, but again, we could still see more of a westerly path which could impact Florida or even more of the mid-Atlantic states. Something we'll continue to watch and update each and every day. Alright guys, have a great and safe afternoon.